Hello, today we are going to discuss about polycystic ovarian disease that is PCOD. It is discovered by a Steen and Lavendel in 1935. What is polycystic ovarian syndrome or disease? It is a syndrome manifested by the amnuria, hirsutism and obesity which is associated with the enlarged polycystic ovaries. It is heterogeneous disorder characterized by the excess androgen production by the ovaries that interfere with their reproductive endocrine and metabolic function. Next move on to criteria for polycystic ovarian disease. The rotor dam diagnostic criteria involve first one polycystic ovaries that is 12 or more peripheral follicle 2 to 9 millimeter in diameter or increased ovarian volume that is greater than 10 centimeter cube second one oligo or anovulation third one signs of hyperandrogenism that is excess male sexual hormones next move on to incidence it is the most common disease 5 to 10 percentage female for a reproductive age that is 15 to 45 years that is increasing in fast with the changes in lifestyle and stress it is most commonly occurs and that is 20 percentage and causes infertility in female it is strongly associated with a insulin resistant that create risk for diabetes mellitus cardiovascular disease and hypertension next move on to etiology or causes it is not clearly known first one changes in lifestyle and diet may causes the pcod second one is genetic factor that is cyp21 gene mutation third one run in families fourth one obesity causing insulin resistance and hyperinsulinemia pathophysiology insulin resistant with a result in hyperinsulinemia that is 5 to 70 percent cases that may leads to hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis abnormality that may causes anovulation and androgen excess that may lead to polycystic ovarian disease next move on to symptoms symptoms mainly involve the three categories first one symptoms of ovulatory dysfunction which include first one amnuria or oligomenorrhea that is 87 percentage second one infertility for 20 percentage third one irregular uterine bleeding for 26 percentage second category is for symptom of androgen excess that may causes hirsutism cane, alopecia or baldness third category is symptoms of insulin resistance which include acanthosis nigricans and obesity next move on to long term risk which include diabetes mellitus, heart disease, hypertension, dyslipidemia, endometrial cancer, breast cancer, ovarian failure after surgery and recurrent pregnancy losses. Next move on to treatment. For obesity person, diet is the important one. Second is exercise. Third one is anti-obesity drugs and fourth one cosmetic surgery. For hirsutism or acane, oral contraceptives are main important one and electrolysis, progestin, gonadotropin releasing hormone suppression, laser vaporization, finasteride and spironolactone. For dysfunctional uterine bleeding, oral contraceptive is the main thing, progestin, acupuncture, for surgical that is O and C, oophorectomy, UV irradiation of blood, neurotransmitter modulation. For infertility, ovulation induction, clomiphene citrus is most commonly used drug, HMG, pulsatile GnRHA. Weight loss of a more than 5% of a previous weight. Combined OCP that can treat the excess androgen level, estrogen suppress androgen and adrenal production. Dexamethasone 0.5 mg or prednisolone 5 mg at bedtime. Fifth one is for insulin resistant. First one metformin is the main drug of choice that can reduce the insulin level, it delays the glucose absorption, improve the peripheral utilization of glucose and increases SHBH which reduces the free testosterone. For infertility, clomiphene citrate with or without dexamethasone or bromocryptine. The main surgical treatment involves first one laparoscopic ovarian drilling that is trigger the ovulation in female, second one electrocautery or a laser that can destroy the parts of ovaries and third one it is not commonly used. This is regarding polycystic ovarian disease. I hope you all are clear with this topic. Thank you. Wow, that's impressive. You have completed a magic today. For more videos, subscribe. Join our Facebook group and
and Instagram page for group discussion and live magazine videos for exam preparation in an hour. We start a class like community for students to learn from a friend in a simple way and support them in their own languages. If you are willing to be that one friend who saves us at the exam night preparation, then please join us by visiting classfly.in.